Dress to impress, practice your steps so only one can be the victor and the master of the tone prophecy. Howdy everyone. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Why am I back in the same mediocre cosplay for like the fifth time? Well, um, it's probably because I'm having an identity crisis. Anyway, I've come to have either my greatest or absolute worst idea yet, which is to dress to impress using only skins from Identity 5. Now, I really hope this game is just a satire on the beauty and fashion industry, but I know nothing about it anyway, so this is gonna be a mess. But honestly, what says Identity V more than getting screamed at by preteens, so this will be nothing new. So this game seems to not have a whole lot of cosmetic options unless you're rich, uh, so I'm going to be having to take some, some liberties with uh, the creative interpretations of Identity 5 skins. Alright, of course when I think of Glamour, I think of Prospector. Um, so we're going to go with Mr. Mole. And we are going to try to make that um, into a Glamour icon. So let's get him to a white undershirt. Give him that kind of iconic... Over I'm the only one who thinks that's iconic. Uh, let's give him an overcoat. Uh, let's see... Gotta give him a hat. Let's make this black and this white. Let's kind of simulate that uh, style he had going on. Shoes, eh, negligible. All right, he kind of had these like brownish pants, which was kind of a weird choice, but go off style icon. All right, let's give him a face. Honestly, he kind of is giving this face. It kind of looks like that. We gotta give him like a frilly necktie, but I think this is the best we're gonna get. Unless we go for like a scarf. Hey, it's coming together. Why are these glasses kind of everything? He has them kind of down, so I think I think this works. Okay. Y'all? I think we did it. That's the best it's gonna get. Here we go. Easy five stars. Peak glamour. Hit him with the power pose. What can I say? Easy five stars. Easy five stars. Okay. Moment of truth. Ooh! Ooh! Come on, Mr. Mole. I know- I know a thing or two about fashion. I cannot believe we got third place. <laughs> okay, next theme is news reporter. Immediately, I'm thinking of Alice. So let's get her skin color. Get her a nice blazer. This is this as her blazer. It's like the closest we're gonna get. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Why is it look? It's looking pretty good. She has this kind of like done up. Bangs on the side. It's kind of like this, honestly. Let's give her some extra bangs. Okay, okay. We're, we're in business, we're in business. Okay, for her face, she's kind of, she's kind of happy. Let's, let's give her some happy, some wholesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Childhood, adulthood. Childhood, adulthood. Okay. Okay, I think that's the closest we're gonna get. Ooh. She's looking good. I'm not gonna lie. Give her a camera. Okay. Once again, y'all, I think we did it. I think that's a wrap. Okay. Come on. Is her legs glitching? Yes. That's a five star. I think we did that. Hit him, hit a few poses. Oh, power pose, power pose. Ooh. Is the camera going through her face? Yes. That's how magical she is. It's glamour. What can I say? Alice de Ross. I mean, look at the material. Okay, so next one is Mermaid. And I think we're gonna go the unconventional route. I think we're gonna go Nyad. Butter KFC skin. Okay, so let's start with a little KFC 
ribbon. It's like white, white and red, as KFC is. Okay, and let's get her into a little KFC outfit. Okay, red and white. It's kind of good though. Hey, you can't blame me. Gotta blame the source material. <laughs> Why is it kind of good? Okay, let's go finish her cosmetics. She's got kind of a sad face for promotional skin, like, was the KFC not good? Okay, let's give her some red shoes, some red KFC brand shoes. This is kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. KFC. Maybe you should step into fashion. So we can't give her her giant fork, but she is eating anyway, so... I think we'll be okay. Let's give her a drink. Okay, let's see how our KFC does for the category Mermaid. Oh, here we go. Serving KFC to the seven seas. Let's hit it. See, this is so high concept. Maybe they won't get it, but it's not to get, you know? It's just a serve, a serve is a serve. Real talk, I think we won. I really, I really think we won this one. Sick and twisted. Okay, theme cheerleader, this has got to be the easiest topic. I mean, obviously Lily. Okay, but we have to do her justice. Let's get her in... Maybe this puffy sleeve? Shirt. We can't have an L on it. But... Guys, this is gonna be the best one yet. I can feel it. Okay, let's get her into these like long pants. Because her shorts are pretty long. Okay. They're kind of like a dark green. And get her some pom-poms. White and red. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's give her a bright, happy face. Bright and happy. Bright and happy. That's cute. We'll go with that one. Okay. Let's see for it. this is perfect. Perfect lily hair. Okay, we can't give her a rugby cap, but, so this is the closest we're gonna get. Let's make it. It's kind of like a dark gray with white accents. Honestly, I think that's the best we're gonna get, but it's not bad. I think that actually looks pretty good for a cheerleader. Here we go. I feel like doing a sports chain. Oh, we gotta give her a pose. We gotta give her a pose. Yeah, I didn't have faith in that one. Lily! Guess it wasn't inspiring enough. Okay, our theme is sad day. I think the saddest survivor I can think of is Weeping Clown. So let's try to make a Yasified Weeping Clown. He kind of already is like the Yasified Twink version of Joker, but let's see what we can do. Kind of has this like overcoat. It's like brownish, green. Let's go with green. These shorts kind of match him pretty well, honestly. Okay, perfect. Let's go with a scarf. Red. Oh, it's already clashing. It already looks terrible. <laughs> okay. Um, I really wish they had his little hat. That would have been really cute. Hmm. What can we do instead? Should we just go for the full hat? Black with gold trim. Yankee with no brim. Okay. And then his wonderful bob. Kind of can't give him a bob. That kind of sucks. Let's see if we can give him it with bangs. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of serving. It's kind of everything. Okay. We just need to give him a sad face. I think we should go with the feminine one, honestly. 
sad crying face. I think we did it. <laughs> I find it really weird that the clothes are gendered. Like, why can't I put on gloves? It seems... It seems wrong. Oh no, the circus just burned down. I wonder who, who could have done it. Couldn't be little old me. Guys, this is this is IDV lore, right here. Let's hit him with a good pose. Ooh, ooh. Guys, I think this is gonna be our first five star. This is gonna be our first number one. I can see it now. They don't get it. This this stuff is too high concept for them, you know. I mean, look, I'm I'm on the number one. Get off. I'm on the number one spot. Next theme is fashion icon. Um, when I think of fashion icons, I think of lawyer. So let's go with lawyer. I don't really have a button-up shirt. It's like the best we're gonna get. And we have long pants. It's the closest I'm gonna get to something that curls like like his hair. So we'll go with it. And we gotta get him some glasses. The nerdiest glasses we can find. Those are giant. Uh, let's go with something a little more subtle. We need like those giant round, we need like circular glasses. I think those will have to do. Guys, is this, is this IDV lawyer? Is this lawyer from the hit game, IDV? Me when I steal my friend's wife. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I think this will be our first, our first number one. Let's give him a tagline. Ruining lives and stealing wives. Seems about fit. Guys, is this canon? Is this canon lawyer lore? Let's hit him with a pose. <laughs> He's got the leg up. A leg up on the competition. Rigged. It's rigged. That's sick. If place is no place for Freddy. Okay, this is probably gonna be the last round before I lose my mind. Um, and uh, I think we're gonna have to Yasify Thief. I think we're gonna have to do it. Okay, we don't have a button shirt, so that's gonna be as good as it's gonna get. Give him a black tie. Perfect, perfect. I think the best thing we're to get close to his cap is just this baseball cap. So let's try to make it fit as close as possible. Okay, Thief is not known for his hair, so I don't think it really matters. And then I'm gonna try to make the microphone into a flashlight. Good enough. Okay. And you know what? If we don't get first place, it was rigged. So. Last but not least. Let's hit him with a pose. Creature first place. I'm calling it. Creature first place. Creature first place. Creature first place. It's rigged. It's rigged. These... These kids don't understand talent when they see it. You know what? So the verdict is that was definitely the most cursed thing I've ever done. And I advise you to go wash out your eyes and um, maybe uninstall identity. But thank you for watching and happy hunting.